Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. And today I have the Tarot Nova on the tarot table from Running Press. And I haven't used this little tarot deck for ages. It used to be my go-to tarot deck when I was reading on royal children. Haven't used it, as I said, for a very long time. But today it put its hand up jumped up and down and said me 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 pick me so it's on the tarot table today because we are looking at that old thorny question of the things that go bump and the reason being the royal reporters are bringing the story up for some reason and so the first little warm-up reading i'm going to do is looking at what is going on with the royal reporters because first of all Richard Eden made a bit of a snarky comment on X. He was writing about the Olympic sailor, very famous man Ben Ainsley and his wife and their struggles uh, that they went through with IVF and then eventually resorted to using a surrogacy. Very interesting story if you're inclined to go and read about it and how difficult it was for them. Richard Eden said Always interesting when a prominent couple talks publicly about their use of a surrogate mother. They ended up in California using a surrogate there because the rules and legislation in California are so much more user friendly, uh, according to them, than the rules in the UK. Interesting, don't you think? And a lot of people thought that that was rather pointed, including one of the very adjacent Twitter accounts thought it was very pointed. We'll be looking at that in the next reading. So that's Richard Eden. Then along comes Neil Sean. He did a long form video yesterday or this morning, whenever he did it. And a long, a deep dive into the mysteries around baby Archie Houdini, he called him. And he was talking about the strangeness of that moment uh, in Birkenhead when uh, Archie did that dive to the floor. Not Neil Sean's words, my words. Uh, Neil Sean just said that Megan had a traumatic event and uh, tried, she and Harry tried to suppress the photos of that event, the famous photos of the things that were happening uh, down behind the dress that uh, she was wearing, that purple and scarlet outfit, a famous moment in the mysterious uh, mysteries surrounding Archie's birth. And uh, he went into quite some detail. He didn't tell us anything new apart from that a little morsel about them trying to suppress those photos that I wasn't aware of anyway. Um, told us all the usual stuff, but he put it all out in a sort of linear form without actually saying what he thought about any of it. It seems rather pointed. And so, as I said, enough chatter. Let's look at the cards and see what the cards want to tell us. What the royal reporters know about the bump why they're not able to tell us. We've looked at all of this before, but it seems as if we're being softened up. So we're going to ask that. Are we being prepared for something? Is something going on behind the scenes that might be the big reveal? And is the big reveal coming from them? Soonish. I don't want to know 50 years time when uh, things that have been archived or blocked or suppressed or whatever it withheld finally are released. I want to know now. Now, now, now. So that's what I'm looking at now with these little cards, Terra Nova. And of course, because it's legal and it involves children, let's remind you, very important, it's tarot for fun and entertainment or my opinion or speculation and of course I just read energy and of course there is a disclaimer in the box below. So let's see what are the royal reporters up to because in my opinion those two anyway, Neil Sean and Richard Eden seem to be uh, hinting at the kinds of things that we all discuss in these kinds of spheres and speculate about. It seems like they know stuff, what do they know? And we've got the Ten of Cups in reverse as our underlying energy. It's a happy family card, the Ten of Cups. And normally, interestingly, it has mom and dad 
um, to little kids. This Ten of Cups in this particular tarot card, tarot deck, has only got mom and dad, no children. How interesting is that? I'm still in the in the camp that says there are. I don't know where they are, and I don't know whose they are, but I do think there are. Um, Ten of Cups is happy family, um, security, emotional security, stability that comes from your happy ever after. It's in reverse. So first of all, we note the absence of children in this particular version of the Ten of Cups, and that's why the hand went up from this little Tarot Nova today. But we also notice that the Ten of Cups means that your emotional security is disappearing. That instead of the happy ever after, you are getting possibly the unhappy ever after, which could indicate that the lovely couple in Montecito is no longer a couple. Consistent message that I get, they haven't been seen together in any form that we can confirm. We've seen video of them together. Don't know when that was recorded, could have been months ago. They haven't been seen together for a very long time months. Harry is popping up here and there pretending to me Mr. Important Veteran and she is popping up Miss Important Investor or Ms. Important Investment uh, person but not together. Situation we're dealing with these royal reporters what are they on about and there is the moon card and uh, my working title for this is the moon bump sonata and here is the moon and the moon is about as a pregnancy card. It's also uh, it's women's issues. It's uh, months and cycles and gestation and all those kinds of things. But it's also confusion and doubt and weirdness because it's that strange moonlight. It's the the fog that um, you walk in when you're uh, under the influence of the moon. You can be a bit crazy as well when you're under the influence of the moon. The card is in the reverse that tells us that some truths might be coming out about that moon bump. Very interesting indeed. Um, hmm. But some craziness around it and some weirdness around the situation, some doubt, some fear around the situation that possibly a lot of people are experiencing, not just Harry and Meghan, but clarity coming because the card is in the reverse. The moon is about to be outshone by the sun, outshone. And when the sun comes up, then you get clarity. So let's see what do they know, these royal reporters, what do they know? And again, I've got a 10 of wands this time. It's a 10 in reverse. 10 of wands is the burden, the carrying this burden that's got heavier and heavier. And somebody wants to put that burden down. I would say the somebody, this is my opinion, the somebody is Harry. And we've heard the story before over the years. We've heard that Harry was going to make a clean breast of it. He was all ready to tell the truth and then was persuaded not to for whatever reason. But that tells me that somebody, and it's not the press, somebody can't carry this burden anymore, doesn't want to carry this burden, wants to put this burden down because this burden has made him very lonely, very sad, um, it turned him into an outcast, got him a lot of bad press, and he doesn't like it and he wants it to end. Hmm. I am going to read on Harry and Meghan in the next one about the Moon Bump Sonata and ask if they're going to be facing the music anytime soon. So, hmm, that's a very interesting card. That's what the press know. They seem to know that it's all over and somebody's ready to spill the beans. Why can't they tell us directly what they seem to know? Instead, they have to give us these little clues. And I've got the five of wands and it's in reverse. That's a, a competition card, a fight, a conflict. And it's in reverse. It tells me that at some level, 
they are being prevented and suppressed. Because the Five of Wands is about competition and getting to the top of that pile. I win, I've got the story, I'm going to get out there first with the story, but the card is in reverse, which tells me that somebody has kind of squashed them and suppressed them and is preventing them. And I don't know the mechanism we've talked about, um, those thingies, those super injunctions and speculated about that. Um, that might work in the UK. I don't know how that works anywhere else where the foreign press would be subject to those same constraints. It's strange that nobody else has ever said anything. There's been speculation that the royals have asked them not to say anything and keep, keep it quiet. Um, there's been speculation that there has been um, secret litigation. Uh, there is a very strange secret court in the UK that can silence things, do strange things around family situations, as far as I vaguely know. So there is some kind of a mechanism that's going on here that's stopping them from getting to the finish line with the story. The first one to reveal all is gonna get all the clicks, all the ad revenue, all the attention, all the glory, all the everything. Everyone's waiting for this moment, seems to me. So are we being softened for the inevitable? Is this something happening behind the scenes that is going to uh, finally come forward? And I've got the Empress, which is mother. Mother, mother. Empress is very high status female energy, but it's mother. And it's sitting under the moon in reverse. And I don't think that it is a royal empress that is there as that energy. It's not for Camilla, Catherine, Sophie... Princess Anne, it's not for any of them to tell the truth because they would be invading medical privacy, wouldn't they? And that would be tricky. Um, but it might be that the actual mother decides to tell all, which is interesting. I thought it was going to be him that was going to tell all, but it looks like it might be her who's going to spill the beans, even though she seems to be pretty angry about what is going on. There is a mother anyway that is ready to talk. Could be a, a, one of them like uh, Eugenie or, or one of those. Just speculating, I'm thinking, who could it be mother that is not mother sitting under the moon in reverse could it be the surrogate that the alleged surrogate because of course we don't know that this is fact we are speculating could it be that the surrogate is going to come out and talk that seems more likely sorry it took me a while to get there but i think that that's what's going on with that empress card the mother herself is ready to come out don't think it's megan can't see that happening at all my opinion of course so let's see are we getting a reveal are we going to find out at least some of the truth around this i've got the devil it's upright devil is all about lies it's about toxicity it's about being chained to a situation that is very toxic maybe addictive maybe obsessive it's in reverse it tells me that it might be tricky for this empress to escape the clutches of the devil and actually come out and tell the truth so i'm going to ask for some clarification is this going to is this devil energy going to stop our empress from coming out and telling the truth let's ask because uh, it would be better for our purposes okay i've got two cards i normally only want one but we're going to take both it's better for our purposes if the devil is in reverse really uh we got the page of swords and the three of cups in reverse this is a falling out of friends the three of cups in reverse so this is somebody 
who was a friend and is no longer. Three is interesting, Harry, Meghan and friend. Whoever the friend is. In reverse now. And the Page of Swords, which is getting ready for something. So I think that there is getting ready energy here. The Page of Swords is about being prepared, doing your research, um, uh, getting yourself ready for some kind of attack or surprise or something like that. You're on your guard. The Page of Swords is that energy. And so I think that there's been a falling out. This is my interpretation of the cards. This is my opinion. This is all speculation. I think that there has been some falling out with this devil, this devil energy. Of course, we know who that is. Uh, and uh, they're getting ready for something. It doesn't look like it's about to drop just yet. But it looks like this person is considering it and is trying to figure out how to go about doing this and revealing the truth. So the press do know something as far as I can tell. And I think the something is that Harry is over it and wants to be out of this mess. Uh, but they somehow are being suppressed. And I don't know what the mechanism is, but they're being kept from grabbing this. Uh, fighting amongst themselves as, who, as to who can reveal it. Uh, the mother looks to me as the one who might be getting ready to reveal it, but it's difficult for her. It's difficult for her to cut, her, cut through the lies, to separate herself from that devil energy of the lies, of the, the hold that that devil has on her. Uh, but the friendship is over. Three of cups in reverse, and there is preparation energy there. For something to come but it's not quite yet that's as good as it gets uh, unfortunately but it does look like marriage and trouble and so interesting that there are no children in that ten of cups in reverse that's it thanks for watching see you on the next one